In this short lecture, I'm going to talk a little bit about context clues. Uh, if you'd like to follow along, I am on page 10 of the Reader's Choice textbook. So con context clues is a really important reading skill uh, that involves your ability to guess words that you don't know. So you need to be a good problem solver in order to be a good reader. Uh, a lot of times you can't know the exact meaning of every single word you read and you don't have to but if you develop your guessing ability you'll often be able to understand approximately what the sentence means or the paragraph means or the essay as long as you understand the general idea of what you're reading that's enough so context clues are designed to help you improve your ability to guess the meanings of unfamiliar words uh, context clues are the sentence and paragraph in which a word occurs. Using the context to decide the meaning of the word, you have your own knowledge of grammar, your own understanding of the author's ideas. There's no specific formula that you can memorize every single word that you'll ever see, um, and that's impossible really, but keep some of the following points in mind. Use the meanings of other words in the sentence, other words that you know, or maybe the paragraph. And that's going to reduce the number of possible meanings. Use grammar and punctuation clues that help you understand relationships between different parts of the sentence. Uh, this is a tough one. Be content with a general idea. The exact definition um, is not always necessary. Learn to recognize, this is a really tough one, learn to recognize situations where it is not even necessary to know the meaning of a word, okay? Uh, so I just would like to take a look at the exercises that you're going to be working on, and I want to do um, a couple of these together with you so that you have an idea of what I'm asking you to do. So for the first uh, set of exercises, you are going to um, take a look at um, some blank spaces where you should be able to guess the word that's missing without even really uh, saying it, uh, seeing it. I removed the blank from the shelf and began to read. Well, if I know my logic, what kinds of things do I read that I usually find on shelves? My logic tells me that that would be a book. And if that was your guess too, um, then you would be correct. That's the word that probably most likely begin belongs in the blank. If you look on the next page, there, there's some explanations. Uh, magazine, paper, newspaper might also be other options, but book is probably the most likely option. So first, try to do the examples on your own, then read the explanations on page 11. Okay. When you're finished with that, I want you to go ahead and try guessing uh, the words in exercise one okay on page 12 so here you're going to try to use context clues to guess the meaning of the word let's try the first one together we watched as the cat came quietly through the grass toward the bird when it was just a few feet from the victim it gathered its legs under itself and pounced so i want to guess what the meaning of the word pounced might be all right, and I can guess a couple of clues here. It's a few feet away. It gathered its legs under itself, so it's preparing to do something with movement, and it's trying to get a bird. So what is it probably going to do? A few feet away, gathering its legs for movement, it's probably going to jump. So I can guess that a good synonym or description of the word pounced might be something like jump, or uh, if we use the past tense form, jumped. So I'd like for you to try the rest of these on your own, and then when you're ready, check the answer key.